What's going on my dollar bills? D Money here and today I'll be showing you all just how I improved my magnetic half face shell and magnetic lens set for my Spider-Man Homecoming cosplay. So to start things off, last time I did a video on this I had some hiccups. So the mask I was using, this one, I cut the eye holes too big and uh, I had gaps and like fabric peeking out from under the eye. It was not fun. It encouraged me to keep working on it and uh, this is what I came up with. So first I wanted to uh, add this because I noticed my nose and my mouth were very visible and uh, I kept having this weird like curve in on my mask and I did not like that. I want it to be like smooth and round and I thought I could get this with this fa half facial instead of a normal full facial and also I edited my other facial and I'll show that a bit later but I just made an improvement on that just by adding more foam and I added some more fabric to the mask and now I'll show you how it looks and here's what it looks like now, I don't always get this right on the first try. This is on my first try, though. And I don't know if I'd say this is perfect. I would really like this circle to be lower down. And um, I could sort of do that like this, maybe. But um, you can see I just got some fabric from another mask and put it underneath. Uh, I didn't want to buy another mask. I wanted to... Uh, just continue with this one so that way it's like I'm not giving up on it and uh, I don't give up on too many projects but when I do it's because it's very difficult and so you can actually see I got a little fabric there so with this one I won't use it as much maybe for some nice photos but uh, it takes a while of prepping like I feel like this is good you can definitely see my nose pops out more still and I still have that little arc, but it's not as bad. But I like it. The uh, lenses look so smooth on the mask, and it's very nice. And I just, I really like this. And normally with my normal mask, I had to take it all off when the lenses get all fogged up. And like, rub the lenses. But now, all I have to do is pop this off, air it out, or rub it and then it's good now I'll show you also in case if you haven't seen my last video that's the inside of the lens now I'll show you what I've done with this one so first thing you might notice I colored the uh, parts of the yellow red and then I added these washers on here so that way the magnets could stick to them like that so nothing keeps them in place like that, and uh, they can wobble like that. This one they lock into place in a way, and uh, I didn't do anything new to the inside. But now I'll show you what this mask with these lenses look with this face shell. Boom, and here's what it looks like with the uh, full face shell. You can see I don't have that arc because I have actual uh, plastic here. Uh, it's almost like I have a second chin since this doesn't reach down all the way. But uh, one thing that I don't really like so much on this face shell is uh, when I look to the side, you can definitely see like the lens is popping out and sometimes you can see a little fabric sticking up. But when I look straight forward, is completely fine and uh, I feel like with this one the circle lines up very well and um, also like I said earlier these move when they're tapped but because of the magnets I used on uh, this project my lenses won't fall off <laughs> This is very nice. I like it. And um, if anything, I will be using it like this. Um, this face shell is nice. And uh, I like how it locks in. And uh, that might be the only reason why I would still use this. 
but it's it's a toss up it depends on how I'm feeling that day also because I can see you can actually see my uh, eye and eyebrow a little bit there and there um, I have a little more visibility in this so not only can I see here I can also see up here not so much down here so I could look down and be like Ooh, and I can still see perfectly fine. And uh, just like earlier when I said lenses fog up, just or go like that, and then boom. And also because they don't lock in place, I can make it to where they can sag down a bit. Look a little weird though. Just give like a little weird. <laughs> Hi give like a little weird look to him but uh, I think this is really cool this is what it looks like without the uh, lenses on and the reason why I colored this stuff uh, red is because uh, before sometimes it would show up and uh, I didn't want to see that you can also see the washers there I thought about carving some holes in uh, the face shell so that way you couldn't see those and also maybe the lenses could pop in or lock in so yeah uh tell me which face shell you prefer down below and uh make sure to rate comment subscribe follow me on instagram and also stay tuned for more spider-man videos and uh ben 10 videos and a bunch of vlogs or basically stay tuned for a bunch of more amazing content anyways have a great day and bye. I also do more than just Spider-Man and Ben 10. Uh, so stay tuned to see what else I've been working on. I always feel like a Mexican wrestler whenever I look at myself like this.